but she says that you'll be seeing me again uh, one day real soon. And she says, um, she's licking Dad's face. <laughs> licking. I just rubbed it. Pardon me? I just he rubbed just rubbed it. his face, too. I just rubbed it. <laughs> That's really interesting to me. Um, she's licking Dad's face, and she's pulling back. Now, there's a mother figure now that's stepping forward. It might be for Dad. Has um, your mom passed on, sir? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> Was your mom Pennsylvania Dutch or um, of that vernacular? German. She, pardon me? She was German. I'll take it. Thank you. Um, because she it, she shows me that she's bilingual, uh -huh. and that she's talking about sh um, it, I'm not familiar with the terminology. Is it schnitzel? <laughs> the inner schnitzel. Yeah, what, it, she's making Salt it for you. Yeah. Are there onions in it? It's German. Yeah. Okay, she's it's making that German for you because I'm smelling it. Um, I don't eat meat, but it smells good. And. Um, <laughs> She's um, smacking you upside the head. She says that she, uh, she says she wants you to shape up. So I don't know if this pertains to the temper we talked about <laughs> earlier. She says, um, <laughs> I can't imitate, I, I don't know German, but she's saying, you know, you know, basically says that, uh, you, now you be a nice boy, you need to be a nice boy. <laughs> And she says that, um, she says, stop worrying so much about the money, about the money. She says, don't make such a big deal about the money. She says, focus on the things that matter, your, your family, your children, um, your home, and love, she says. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the issue with the money she's talking about? It's a new business venture right now. Okay. I became third partner with another company, construction company. That's interesting to me. Okay. Um, so focus on the stuff that's, that really matters and focus on doing good works and everything else will fall into place. Okay? You don't need to set your goals around finances. That's a man-made concept. It's not a spiritual concept. Okay? Okay. Alrighty. Questions about anything I've said? She's pulling back. She's tugging my ear for some reason. I don't know what that's no. about. No. <laughs> Do you know what that is? You think on it, and yeah, okay, uh, sometimes people develop psychic amnesia because you're on the spot. It means you become oblivious to the obvious in the moment. So think on it, and we can always come back if you if you remember what this means. But she's pulling pulling my ear for some reason. Okay. Probably me being younger, getting jerked by ear in the classroom. <laughs> my temper. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe that's it. All righty. They're showing me a male that passed in a collision, it feels like. <clears throat> it's an accident. Are we not done, maybe? No, we're not done. <laughs> Pardon? We're not done. Okay, so it's a male that passed tragically, very suddenly, in an, in an accident. Okay. <clears throat> Is this a family member? Yes. Thank you, that's what I'm being told. Did you walk in a skeptic? Did somebody walk in? I'm being told somebody walked in a skeptic. So I don't know if it's the row behind you. I don't know about skeptics. Okay. I need his first name, please. Zach. Okay, thanks. Um, was he at the wheel? Yes. Because he's taking responsibility for what it was that happened. Was someone thrown also? Okay, and did, was he the only one that perished? No. They both did. Sorry? But she had a really hard time. Afterwards. Okay, because he's showing me that someone did not pass immediately. Okay, thank you, but that he did. Because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling an impact. I'm tasting blood in my mouth. <clears throat> uh, and please know that he is taking responsibility for his actions. Um, was there alcohol involved in that as well? Thank you. That's maybe why I kept getting the smell of alcohol very strong connected to you because we weren't finished. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He's another one with a pretty salty mouth to him. Um, and oh Lord, do I have to really say that again? Um, he he is also acknowledging that he he's are are you are you, um, are you mom or aunt or what's the connection? Cousin. Cousin. Okay. He says I he says I fucked up he says, um, there's a lot of that going around, isn't there? And he says, um, 
Uh, he's talking about peer pressure, so I don't know if he's trying to pass the buck a little bit, um, but he's talking about, he says originally it was peer pressure, but I, I own up to it and take responsibility. He says, you know, this shit runs in the family, don't you? <laughs> So he says, um, boy, I wish that I had figured that out sooner. Um, he says, then I, if I was smart, I would have gotten help, he says. Um, but he says, I was too, he says, you know what they say about male pride? He says, I was too proud to think of, to think of it as a, a problem or an issue. He says, um, I had, I had driven under the influence other times, he says. Um, so he says, you know, I thought I was invincible. He says, you know, you do it once or twice or three times and you get away with it and you feel like nobody can touch you. Um, he says, I feel, he says, I feel the great, was she on life support? Or, I don't think so. It shows us, though, there were efforts to sustain her beyond this, the scene. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay, because he's making reference to that, and he's talking about um, his, he, his greatest remorse was for her and her family. He says, because of my fucking stupidity, he says, because of my actions, this had to happen. Um, uh, he's talking about her children. So I... She had children. Okay, so he's talking about that as well, and he says that you know I I had a, a tough road to hoe when I got to heaven because of what it was that I had to own up to. Um, so he says, please communicate on my behalf to everyone who will listen that it was my fault that I take responsibility. He says I was a reckless son of a bitch. Um, shouldn't have been doing what I was doing, and I, um, I feel regret for having altered the course of her life and that of her child or children. Okay? Now, message delivered. <laughs> um, okay, so who was the fan of The Doors and Jim Morrison? is going back about 50, close to 50 years, I guess, my gosh. Who's the fan of The Doors? Or Jim Morrison? Yes, absolutely, 100%. Come on, baby, light my <laughs> now listen, the last time I was here, they were playing the Beatles for me, and it took forever to get that lady to find, and she finally, it was about, you know, she had, was the one person in the room that had gone to see the Beatles live in concert, and it was her aunt coming through, and she finally said, well, yeah, my aunt took me, and it was like, <laughs> it took forever to make the connection, but she finally got it. So they're playing me Jim Morrison, and the Doors. Nobody here has ever been a fan of The Doors. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anybody else from the first session? Yes. When you talked about The Doors and 50 years ago, it yeah, was the... Yeah, The Doors. Just yesterday, it was yesterday or the day before, I was on Amazon Prime and I downloaded a bunch of Doors music. And I, <laughs> 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 I love The Doors. <laughs> okay. That was awesome. All right, <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I get blown away by this stuff, too. <laughs> messages from your son. No, messages about my son. About your son. Yeah. I need his first name and age, please. Dimitri. I need another tissue. My, my nose keeps running. Sorry. Dimitri? Dimitri, he's five. Again, please. Oh, <laughs> sorry, you didn't come out. <laughs> Bear with me. Alrighty, Dimitri. <clears throat> he goes by Dima. Dima? Yeah. Was he a tough pregnancy or was he unexpected? No, he was a tough delivery. Okay, so there was, it, it was challenging. Mm -hmm. Okay, Absolutely. alrighty. Um, so is he your firstborn? Yes. Then, because I'm being told that um, that was not without purpose. 
And had there been one before him that was lost? Yes. Thank you. Um, I'm also being told that was not without purpose either because you needed to be um, mentally, spiritually, and physically fit and you had not been up until that time. And also this soul that is Dimitri needed to know that his mom absolutely wanted him. And so when there were complications in delivering him, is that correct? Yes. Uh, that was not without purpose because was there, um, were there concerns that he might have, um, uh, uh, this might be politically incorrect, a birth defect? Or that something about, I don't know if the umbilical cord was wrapped around Twice. his neck. It was wrapped around his neck. Twice. Thank you. Okay. So there were concerns that he might be oxygen deprived or um, developmentally uh, have issues as a result of that, correct? Okay. And is that in fact the case? Um, he's delayed. Thank you. Okay. Really sure. Okay. That was all not without purpose because is there, are you a single mom? Okay, because there needed to be a unification within your family unit that said, I absolutely want this baby. This, I, I am pulling for this baby. This baby has got to be here, and it's got to be loved and adored, and, and we've all got to just unite around this baby. That's why that happened, okay? <clears throat> I'm being told that he is an intuitive. Absolutely. Yes. Um, and he also needs to be empowered to know that he has the authority to say no. Okay? You understand? Because when you are as sensitive as he is, you're open to receiving all the good stuff. And this is like actually piggybacking on this discussion that we just had. You're open to receiving all the good stuff. You're also open to receiving the really negatively intended stuff as well. And you've had your go-arounds with that because of him not sleeping well or waking up in the middle of the night having had uh, nightmares or night terrors. Can you validate that please? Yes. Thank you. Sorry. That's what I was waiting for. Yep. Okay. So he needs to be empowered to know that he is in control, that he allows what, to come, what can come through and what cannot come through. Get him in the habit of saying a prayer of protection every night to cast a veil of protection over his bed that will deflect and repel anything that is not for his greater good. Okay? Um, by the time he reaches uh, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, he's going to need a mentor to help him to really tame and refine his gift. He's also a healer, I'm being told to say. Right? So he has the capacity to um, relieve others of pain and discomfort with his hands. Right? So pay attention when you've had a tough day or his father's had a tough day. It, you know, if he knows how to maybe calm or soothe or if he touches you in a certain way, that kind of thing. Okay? You understand? Do you have questions about what I've said? Thank you. Okay, thanks. Yep, let's pick one. Um, Roxy. Pardon? Roxy. Okay, uncross everything, please. We'll have a better flow of energy. Can't promise or guarantee anything. Gonna give it a shot. So, um, would this have been the grandma that did quilting or crocheting? No. I'm, be I'm being shown like a quilt, and I'm being shown crocheting or knitting. So yeah. I don't know if she quilt like did like throw throws or something like that. Crocheting. Crocheting. Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on. And um, her house is really stuffy, so I don't know if she kept it like too hot. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. it's like I'm dying in here. It's like, yeah. oh, it's so warm. Um, she's talking about rheumat rheumatoid rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah, she has. Okay, she's talking about that. Um, was she kind of sh short and stocky? On a good day, we said she was four feet, two inches. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm being told about that. She says, continue your studies, please. So she wants you to further your education in some respect. Yeah, I'm in grad school now. Perfect. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, she's also showing me something connected to the legal system where you are concerned in terms of your growth and your learning. 
not sure what that is. Okay, so if you have something to write with, please jot it down. Um, so I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're, a, you know, planning to be a lawyer or anything at all connected to the legal system or the justice system. Okay, but she's making reference to that. She says, uh, and Perry Mason. <laughs> but so she's saying, um, you. Um, uh, hang on, while I grasp the language. <coughs> you're not a procrastinator, but she's talking about you. Um, you're your own worst critic, she says, in that you second guess whether you're good enough, and she says you've got it within you to be brilliant, but you have to believe that you have it within you, okay? <clears throat> she says, keep reaching for the stars. I'm going to show myself to you as a shooting star. Okay? You understand? Have you seen that already? When you're thinking about her? Yes? When you've been thinking about Grandma, you've seen a shooting star. Okay, that is her, her uh, calling card to you and that she will continue to support you in that way, that you will see the shooting star as you're thinking about her. Okay? Message delivered. Thanks. I lost two of my very best friends recently. Okay, pick one, please. Debbie. Debbie? Debbie. Okay. She was about how old when she passed? She was soon to be 68. Can't promise or guarantee anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, she's playing me Frank Sinatra singing, I did it my way. So she must have went out the way she wanted to. Yeah. Um, she's telling me that she was very um, insistent about specific things. Mm -hmm. And she calls you sister also. Mm -hmm. um, she's saying thanks for the roses. I don't know what that means. Um, I know what it means. Uh, pardon? I know what it means. Okay, you know what it means? Perfect. And she says that um, I went out the way I wanted to. She says all my affairs were in order. I, I said and did everything that I wanted to do, and I went out the way I wanted to. I did it my way. Okay? I'm having a hard time. I don't feel like I did enough. Okay, hang on. She says you went above and beyond the call of duty. She says that, um, she says traditionally, historically, you've always been hard on yourself. She says that you are a gentle soul. She says continue to tend to the needs of others that are still here. <coughs> In your, in your gentle way, she says, and she says that you are, you set an example every time you open your mouth and every time you walk out your front door. She says you set an example for others of what a good and decent human being should be. So she says, now, if that ain't a morale booster, I don't know what is, it, what is. But she says, um, thank you for all the gracious courtesies that you extended to me and my family and for caring for me in my time of need or sickness. I don't know what that means. I took care. Thank you. You, you, you took care of her? Thank you. Okay. Um, she's kind of funny. She has a, bit, a, a sense of humor. Sarcastic. She's, yeah, because she says, well, over and out. Yeah. She's checking out, yeah. okay? <laughs> so message delivered. Take advantage of my presence. You know, Karen, yes, I would be delighted to do something for you. Yeah. I, just, I feel I like always, I owe you. No, big time. No, no, no. I always he hear oh. people say about smells of yes. things and that people are visiting you when you smell that. It's, it's one of many ways. Okay. Well, one of many very gentle, loving, subtle ways. My friend Jordan was not subtle, yeah. but he was also a ghost and not a spirit in the heavenly realm. Okay. In the heavenly realm, it's going to be very gentle and very loving and very subtle. So scents or aromas that you would associate in memory with a loved one mm -hmm. is one form of spiritual communication. My grandmother wore... Um, I'm smelling mothballs. No. <laughs> she wore a face powder that some of you ladies might know. It was called Cody, C-O-T-Y. Oh, yeah. And it was in this certain little like cardboard box. I'm smelling mothballs. I yeah. smell <laughs> that powder. And my grandmother has been dead a long time. And I, she has never been in my home. 
but I smell that palate. Karen, I am hitting you over the head with mothballs. <laughs> I'm What's the sorry. connection? <laughs> what is the connection to mothballs? Absolutely, 100%. Um, Absolutely. Are you here with Are you here with anybody? Yes, I'm here with these folks. Are they fr fa friends, family? They're chosen family. Okay. If you know what I'm talking about, jump in, please, because there is a. It, it is so uh, strong. Yeah, I. I mean, I remember having her having uh, like one of those old wardrobes where they kept their coats in and stuff like that. Then they put mothballs mm -hmm. in there. But that's mm -hmm. not the smell I know, honey, I associate but this is, with This her. is what yeah. you're getting. I know, I it's, I know <laughs> you're saying I associate the face powder with her, but yeah. I'm giving you mothballs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> An I'll apple pie. An apple pie. I'm smelling it. I'm smelling the nutmeg and cinnamon in apple pie. Can you validate that, yes. please? With grandma. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, She's also talking about going to the beauty parlor and mm -hmm. having her hair done. Yes. Okay. Weekly. Yes. Yes. She's talking about mm -hmm. that as well. She says that um, you yeah. went together. Mm -hmm. I drove her. Thank she you. Didn't drive. Thank you. Okay. So she's me making reference to that as well. Um, she is also playing. I talked about Lawrence Welk earlier. She's also playing Lawrence Welk. Oh, she yes. loves Benny Goodman, Artie <laughs> Shaw. She's, uh, Frank Sinatra. I grew up with Lawrence Welk. There you, thank you, thank you. There's another big validation for you, okay? So I have Grandma stepping forward for you. It's lovely. She's giving you a huge bouquet of roses, and she's acknowledging an, uh, an achievement or an accomplishment of yours, something that you, you've done very recently. She's making reference to you graduating or something. I just won first place at the farm show for my first <laughs> Congratulations from Grandma. Thank you. A huge bouquet of roses. Thank you. There you have it. She says that it's been some time wow. since this is a gift to you from God, yes. so let's praise God for it too. Yes. She Amen. says that um, that it's been some time since we've connected with one another. She says we've had a dream or two together, but she says it's been some time since we've been together, and she says uh, oh, thank you. She says, and I'm going to thank this nice young man. She, I'm in my 50s. Yeah, she she, would love I'm going to thank this nice young man, she says, um, for, for this opportunity. She's being very gracious with me. She says, I'm going to thank this nice young man for allowing me to have this opportunity. She says that um, she's very proud of your faith. You have faith in your faith. Um, and you draw strength from your faith. And she says, and yet, you're here. So she says she appreciates your open-mindedness and the manner in which you have discerned a balance between your faith and your religious beliefs and the openness of your spiritual beliefs. That there's a balance there. She's showing me the scale is tipped in balance. She's talking about a coffee grinder. I have her coffee grinder. Thank you. She's making reference to her coffee grinder. Is it copper? No, well, it shines. It's, it's shiny. Uh, wood, but the top is metal. But Thank it's you. really that's, dingy. That's what I'm being shown. Yeah. Sh okay, so you need to polish yeah. that up, maybe. Okay, I'll yeah. do it. But she's making me smell the coffee. I like it because it looks old. You know, yeah. But, yeah. Thank you. Um, she says that you are. She calls you daughter, and she says that you are everything lovely and gracious that a good daughter should be, and that you have been a friend in need, indeed. She says, you have been a friend in need indeed, and that there are many people who can call upon you, and you would be there for them in a heartbeat. She yeah, says, you've been yeah. very generous, very generous with your time and with your money. She says, you've been most generous, and that she says, she wishes that she could have been half the person that you are, you. which is a high compliment, which is a high compliment, yes. She says that you ha actually have been afforded more opportunities than a woman of her era could have been, because she's showing me sort of more keeping to the kitchen and doing family type activities, um, homemaking type activities. Um, she says that uh, family has always been important to us, and she appreciates when you would read to her. I don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, she had um, sisters that wrote to her, and they were very elderly, and their handwriting was really poor. And I would try to help her decipher <laughs> what you. they were saying. <laughs> so maybe that's okay. What that's and about. I don't know if you were reading books or the no. newspaper. Also, 
but she's making reference to current events that you were keeping her we both up on love current the events. Newspaper, yeah. There you have it. Yeah. There you have it. Okay. Yeah. We were right. very close. She says love and kisses and happy birthday. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that means. My birthday's in March. I don't know if that's close enough. I don't think that's close enough. No. Um, is there? What about her birthday? Or is there some other? Hers is in August. No, that's not mm -hmm. it either. I don't know what that means. Happy birthday. Love and kisses. Happy birthday. But anyways, you got the big bouquet of flowers for your, that's uh, great. for your accomplishment, so that's great. I think Lovely. we need some of that fudge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can hook you up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Now, right? It was on my bucket list to enter something oh. in the farm show. And, yeah, that's really cool. And so I did it in one. I just wow. Wow. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, know that Grandma saw it. Yeah. She's acknowledging that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Amazing. Beautiful.